galactic date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population... Hey guys, it's Chalks Programmer here. How's it going? So, there's several ideas supporting the idea of Pikmin 4. Of course, this video does contain spoilers of all three games in the series. So I suppose we should go ahead and... Yeah, spoilers alert. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. First things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the most basic one, the most obvious one in the game. Anyone who's finished the game with any of the three endings have already seen this. At the end of the credits, you can see that something is falling down to the earth. I couldn't help but notice how similar it looks to the three captains falling down to the earth at the beginning of the game. Or, of course, it could be another ship falling down to the earth. But with the ship, it seems so much more like fiery, with much more smoke and pieces falling everywhere. So of course I think it looks much more like a captain flying onto the earth. Who could it be? Is it Louie? Or is it someone entirely new? This opens up a whole nother door to a new Pikmin game. A new story. Hey, I'm Spark, Captain Oima. In the window, girl? No. And that brings us to our next idea. Throughout the game, Alamore is having some adventure with Louie, parallel, at the exact same time on the planets as the Copayans. He's even landing in the exact same places in the exact same spots, and fighting the exact same enemies. No, we never actually get to play his story, though. We do know it's nearly identical, considering the logs he's left have instructions for the exact thing that the Copayans are doing. Now, if you're a Zelda fan, you would know that any adventure mentioned in a Zelda game is later featured or has before been featured in an entire Zelda game of its own. For example, the story at the beginning of Wind Waker is Ocarina of Time, and the story at the beginning of Four Scords is Minish Cap. Anyway, Nintendo could easily do the exact same thing with Pikmin, and make a story about the adventures of Almore and Louie on the same planet. Louie. Olimar's starving partner. So obviously Louie has a lot of time alone on this planet that we haven't seen. Obviously, the main one being when he got left behind in Pikmin 3 for that big gap of time in between when Olimar left with the treasure and when Olimar and the and the president found him in the dream den. Then again, at when Olimar got kidnapped on his third adventure to the planet, Louie is alone until the Copayans found him for however long it took the Copayans to found him. And then once again, once the Copayans left, on the end file, Alf states that Louie has not in the ship when they took off, but, oh, he'll be fine, that's what Alf says. So, once again, left alone on the planet for his own adventure. And seriously, how did he get down to the bottom of the dream then, alone, without any Pikmin? He probably had his own Pikmin going down there, but killed by the Titan Dweevil. Unless he was controlling the Titan Dweevil. Either way, there's a little bit more in this guy than what we know. It's pretty suspicious. Next up is a big mystery in the Pikmin series. The crash of the SS Drake. What exactly caused the crash? Elf does state that 
it felt as if some force on the surface of the planet was manipulating his ship, causing it to crash. So this could set up for another story. And so forth we come on to the final idea. Have you ever heard of the Umibuzu theory? It's really a rather dark theory for Nintendo, let alone a Pikmin game. If you haven't heard of the Umibuzu theory for Pikmin, then you really won't understand this theory. So I'm going to put a link in the description to a good video that really shows about the Umibuzu. It's by Daz Reviews. And anyway, if this theory is correct, then the Pikmin series can't be over yet. The Umibuzu has not killed Olimar and taken his treasure. Of course, because it is a kid's game, he's not gonna kill Olimar. But still, I'm sure something is gonna happen that'll stop the Umibuzu or something. Perhaps. This is why Louie never went back to Hakate on his two chances due to the fact that he could be possessed due to the theory by the Umibuzu, he could not go back to Hakate, he would want to stay. Doesn't really have anything to do with anything, but how does that doofus keep disappearing out of the cockpit? I mean, people just keep leaving without him for some reason. Okay, so anyway, though it seems you defeat the Plasm Wraith at the end of Pikmin 3, you really don't. Okay, now pay attention to this. Now, the Copians and the gamers' attention are set on Olimar, but you really don't notice that once you defeat the Plasm Wraith. His goo slithers on back to the cave. Also, once you take off in the ship, and you're flying by, you see that the Plasm Wraith has already reformed itself completely back up at the top of the tower. And is angry as the Copians leave with Olimar. You can also be seen again here. Anyway, what this is showing is that the Umibuzu is not dead, and I'm sure next time Olimar, if he does, come back to the planet, the Umibuzu will try to find him and kill him and take whatever treasure. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I know I said that'd be the last one, but I lied. There is one more quick thing I want to touch on, and it's about the ending of Pikmin 1. Right there, we can see it looks like pink, purple, light blue, green, dark blue, black, orange, etc. Different colored onions. If you were like me, you would have thought, Oh boy, this means Pikmin too. Right, we're going to have a ton of new colors. But no, not a single new onion. We just got some ground Pikmin that you get underground, which is still pretty cool. But then if you were still like me, you'd be like, oh, oh, this is hinting at a Pikmin 3 with all these colored onions. But of course, we got two different colored onions, only one of them showing up, which was pink. And we still don't have all those. So maybe if you're still like me, you'll think this might be hinting at a Pikmin 4 with some of these new colors. Because right now, of all these different colored onions, only one of them, which is pink, has been given to us. That about wraps up all my Pikmin 4 hintings, suggestions, and ideas. So, well, mostly hintings. So, I am CPG, and thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Like and subscribe and comment on anything I missed and how you think I did. So, have a good day. Peace out.